We just made this Christmas welcome sign using our Glowforge pass-through and some UV resin. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it's back to the front porch. Some front porch welcome sign for Christmas. We're gonna use our Glowforge. We're actually gonna try the pass-through. <laughs> right, so this video is gonna serve two purposes. One, we're finally gonna start our Christmas crafts and we've been asked a lot of times, a lot of times for the SVG for the Christmas sign we made last year. But we didn't really own that SVG and I can't find a link to tell you where to go get it yourself. So yeah, I can't find it anymore. So we made one ourselves that's similar but different and uh, you can add Christmas lights to it or without it, either way. We're gonna make something similar to what we did this year, except this time, as he said, we're gonna use the Glowforge and we're gonna cut out the design and then we'll be able to make that available in our store for you guys. But what we really like to do is showcase the pass-through slot because a lot of folks have asked for that video as well and we have not yet tried <laughs> The pass-through slot. So, it's been months and I haven't tried the pass-through slot. So we got two purposes for this video. One, to get you that Christmas SVG you've been asking for. And two, let's test out that pass-through slot. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We needed a sheet of MDF, four foot by, we cut ours down to like 14 to fit through the pass-through, quarter inch. We needed two six foot dog-eared pickets. It's gonna be the back. A four foot dog-eared picket. That is a, that's the cross braces. Some Gorilla Glue. That's how we're holding it together. Some paint and some UV resin. I saw a technique online where you can add either liquid glass or Mod Podge has a version called Dimensional Magic or you can use this UV resin. So I look forward to trying that and using the UV lights. Yeah, the other two, the liquid gold or whatever it's called, liquid glass. It took like 20 hours to cure. And yes, the dimensional magic. It does take, well, it takes three hours. It takes 20 hours to cure completely, three hours so that you can touch it. Oh. And if you know Garrett, Garrett as well as I do, he does not have the patience to wait three hours for those bulbs yeah, to dry. Like so that's why day. I wanted to try this UV resin and maybe we can keep moving. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. It's really just two cuts. We're gonna cut this board down, this small little dog ear picket, to 11 and 1 8 inches. That's how wide our two pickets are together. You might wanna measure your pickets. Yes, I was gonna say the same thing. Somebody came back and said that was not the right size. Well, just double check, measure your two pickets side by side. Pickets may vary. <laughs> yeah, pickets may vary. <laughs> I just so happen to have right here, right in my back pocket, my pocket saw. I take this jam everywhere. It's so tiny. I just take it here and there. Actually, we, I've taken it to the farmer's market. Huh? Already made my measurements. <laughs> Step three. Now we're gonna glue down our little brackets, our little braces. Our little cross braces that we just made. We're gonna measure up two and a half inches from the bottom and three and, and, a, half and a half inches, inches from, from the, the top. top. <laughs> We're just gonna use Gorilla Glue. I don't use too much. Some of these boards might be damp and this Gorilla Glue really puffs up when it gets wet. So. Well, it just puffs up when it dries. It won't even matter yeah. if it's dry or not. It's still gonna puff up and come out. Gonna find some heavy stuff to put on it. Just put some paint cans, some tools, whatever you got. Yeah, whatever you got. Whatever's heavy. It's heavy too. All right. Now we wait like two hours. Not really. I mean, you can start manhandling it in like 30 minutes, but. Two hours, it'll get puffy enough and hard enough where you can chip it off and and break off the puffy pieces. So uh, we'll see you guys in uh, some time. Back, everything seems to be dry and puffy. Can you see the puffy pieces? You 
see it, I'm gonna hit him in the head with the back of this board. Mm -hmm. There are some other puffy pieces, just in case you wanna see it. They chip off pretty easy. We got this little spatula. Just gonna run around the edge and then get up underneath it. That's like my favorite part. Chipping off this little puffy stuff. <laughs> it works out so well and just it's like satisfies my OCD because it makes it beautiful again. <laughs> like picking a scab. Ew, no, <laughs> it's not. Step four. Now we paint. We're gonna paint this whole thing red. Yes, so you could stain it, but in order to keep it festive, I am gonna paint it red, and then we're gonna use the white letters to give them a pop. You know, it's Christmas. Red, red and white. Yeah, I mean, you could do it white with red letters, but. I think blue is in lately with Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, well, we've done, we've done lots of things. It's more, blue makes me think of snowflakes. Yeah. We're gonna use this darker, there's two shades of red in our, uh, two like perfect shades of red for this project. In the country sheet colors, one is Devotion. And Ooh. can you see that as a really bright red? And I know Garrett wants to use that. I didn't even tell him because I knew he was gonna wanna use the bright red. But I'm going to use this Paint the Town, which is a little bit darker red. Do you see that? Yeah. So we're going to use the darker red. All right. And let's hope it goes all the way. Let's go all the way. It's only like And now we're gonna cut out our design. Uh, first, we have to open up our Glowforge and take out the little pass-through protectors or blockers or whatever those things are. So there are pass-through slots, but there are guides that are covering them. I guess it's for oh, fumes, to prevent fumes. Don't mind the mess. Oh man, we probably should have cleaned it first. <laughs> I can do a video of it. Now push it back and power it up. Are you ready? Yep. Alright, well it's doing its boot up thing. I'm going to jump over to the app and load up our design. I may have to babysit that. Yeah, I think we'll have to shift it around as we move it. Let's start with a new design. Click create. Upload from file, gotta find my SVG. This one's detailed. It'll take a minute to process. Now let's make this a pass-through project. You can enable the pass-through by going up to the top menu over on the right and using those three little dots or ellipses for more menu options. Turn on Pro Pass-Through. Oh, look at that. My screen changed. That's pretty cool. I only have a 48 inch board, so I'll cut Mary separately. I'll cut that on a little board. This is pretty detailed. Let's see if this Mamma Jamma can handle it. Let's load up our MDF. I'm gonna use these little paint jars as supports so the board won't bend. I'm gonna use these little material hold downs as guides. I found them out on the Glowforge user group. Free file, printed them out. I'm gonna use these so when I slide the MDF through the slot, it'll stay kind of straight. We get our quarter inch MDF from Home Depot. It comes in two foot by four foot sections. And if we use the thick draft board settings for proof grade materials, we can use the proof grade settings and it usually cuts right through just fine. We're going to ignore Mary. We'll come back to that one. We're gonna set everything else to proof grade cut and then proof grade score for the light bulbs. Hmm, why is everything grayed out? Um. Oh, the cuts have to start at the bottom of the design. Oh, okay. All right, I get it. Let's move the MDF. Wow, I can't believe uh, this was smart enough to know that I had it in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, that's better. Red cut lines, that's what I like to see. Line it back up and print. Oh cool, look at that, it's taking pictures. 
with the cameras on the, the laser head. Ooh, I like these on-screen instructions. I'm gonna go shift the MDF up about eight inches and leave about three inches of the design from the board. I guess that's so it can take the pictures. Hit continue. They lined up pretty good, but that one was an easy one. I'm just gonna continue to do this, move the material and hit continue a few more times. <laughs> okay, that was super easy. It took about five cuts and about 40 minutes. Step six. Oh, oh. Now we're gonna paint and resin. <laughs> We're gonna paint, well we painted the board first, like you saw, and then we gave it some masking. But some of the bulbs and stuff still got some burn underneath the masking tape, so we're gonna take that off with alcohol. Then we're just gonna paint the wire for the... The cord? The cord, yeah, the cord. Black licorice. Now the, white, the letters are staying white. Now we're gonna try to do some resin in the bulbs. Right, I think any of the craft stores have this now, so this is just one we picked up. It's the UV resin, so we're gonna add a little resin into our Dixie cup. We're gonna stir in a couple drops of this opaque dye and make it the color we want. And then we paint it on the bulb, add the light, let it harden for 90 seconds, and we should be good to go. Now, if you happen to see our story on social media, we are trying to get, well, Garrett really wants it to glow in the dark, but I'm not, light sure, bulbs. not sure quite how to do that with what we have here. Um, there are these glow in the dark chips, and we're gonna decide if we wanna just mix those in the resin. I think we'll just try and mix it in the resin and see how it goes. Uh, might get lumpy. Yeah, I think it will get lumpy, but will it, and then will it look funky on the, like, chunky yeah, on the sides it'll maybe look chunky on the sides so just no glow in the dark we'll just have to save glow in the dark for another project oh i guess so <laughs> delicate delicate all right, we got our letters white, our cord is black, ready to start putting some color in the bulbs. All right, so this is just, there's nothing to mix here. You just squirt it right in here and add not a lot of pigment. If you add too much pigment, pigment, <laughs> pigment. You don't want too much pigment. <laughs> too much pigment then or dye then it won't it won't cure properly so it's just just a drop just like two or three drops yes One, two, three. okay let's see stir it up and let's see when well, you use the thick end i'm stirring it with like a needle yeah okay you need like a tablespoon of resin in there so good they look like real light bulbs they do let's just do this real quick to see how it looks 
like. Snap, crackle, and pop. Dang, that's looking good. Yeah, it is. All right, this thing isn't super durable, but it's Ooh. it's pretty thick. It's popping. That looks good. Can you guys see it? Kind of. That's what we got so far. Step seven. Now we're gonna glue it down with this clear Gorilla Glue. It's like uh, rubber cement. <laughs> A little more on the eye. I think the eye needs some more. A little on the R. The C is looking a little wimpy. It's it just dry. Uh. Yeah, thank you. All right, two minutes starts now, so keep messing with it and it's gonna take longer. Huh, well, I don't know. I don't think it needs to be the full two minutes, right? Hey, I wonder if you light it on fire, if it'll negate the whole two minute thing. Like when you patch a bike tire, you know, you, you light the rubber cement on uh, fire real quick. Just a quick two seconds. Then you put the patch on. The toothpaste. Looks like a gorilla was holding it. It does. <laughs> All right, we ready? Has it been two minutes? It's been one minute. Right. Boom. Houston, looks good. we have touchdown. Oh, I forgot about the S and the A. Oh, I. And the E H. Tiny little capital H. Did you want to do Mary? Oh, you have the honors, babe. Oh, it looks good. It does look good. All right. So. Step eight, and now we do the accents. Yeah, it's just a bow. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already had some discussions on what color ribbon to add to this one. Uh, because this is not a traditional green, I didn't want to add any green because I just don't think it would match. So we just did a big, like, candy cane bow. All right, and then we're gonna add this stripe at the top and at the bottom. Um, are we gonna use this glue? Well, usually I use hot glue. Yeah, let's use hot glue. So we didn't finish the back of this one. We talked about it, but I didn't have enough of that paint. If you noticed, I had the small little, I don't know, how many ounces is that jar? Two ounce, four ounce. Up oh, here it is, four ounce jar. Uh, so we didn't bother to do the back, but I think that's okay because this is pressure treated lumber. So it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. All right. That's what we got. So, well, we're done. That is what we got. Yeah, let's take it to the front porch and show you what it looks like all yeah. finished. <sighs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so we showcased how to use the pass through slot on the Glowforge and that now, was way easier than I thought it would be. Right. I mean, like, that was so easy. He really has been hesitant to try it. I mean, super hesitant. I don't even know. Yeah. I haven't even tried it. I haven't practiced with it yet. Yep. And there was no practice needed. First try. Yeah. 
First try, we even went big. We went with something detailed that I thought would have a problem lining up. Not an issue, it was fine. I mean, that was great, it was a dream. I don't know what I was so stressed about. I mean, that was so easy. It did all the work. It's worth it. I didn't have to do anything. Yeah, and it came out great. It lined up great. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better job. The end, we were able to create this SVG that everyone keeps asking about. So yep. now we'll make that available in our store. And of course, we'll make the Merry Christmas kit available in our store as well. Although I'm gonna find a place to cut it in half. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We so can't that we ship can it. ship it. <laughs> yeah, we can't ship it in one large piece like this, but that's okay. It'll look pretty seamless. Looks like we're about out of time. <laughs> it's way past time. So we have to go. So we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I definitely, do I have room to balance this thing? I'm gonna hit the ceiling, huh? Oh, the squat, I'll squat low. Oh, the squat low. Whoops. It's, uh, it's pretty hard on my hammies. <laughs> I said hammies. <laughs>